Manufacturers are trying to imagine what motorcycles will look like in the future, and they've built some pretty strange-looking concept vehicles. Join me as we take a look at 15 of the coolest concept motorcycles. Number 15. Ducati Dragster Ducati is, of course, one of the most exciting motorcycle manufacturers in the world, and the company showed up to the 2016 Motorbike Expo of Verona with something particularly special. Known as the Dragster, it's based upon the Ex Diavel, but takes things to a whole new level. Created by the Ducati Style Center's advanced design team, it imagined the future direction of Ducati bikes. In celebration of the brand's 90th anniversary, it's an extreme dragster with a rough and raw aesthetic, and featuring premium racing components such as the suspension and brakes used in the 1299 Panigale Superbike. Clearly intended for the track rather than the road, this insane concept is fitted with a 156 horsepower 1262 cc engine that ensures it's ridiculously fast. So you'll barely have time to appreciate the huge gaping Termi exhaust and the Formula One style tire that's presumably the only rubber capable of translating the power to the tarmac. Number 14, Kawasaki J. Revealed at the Tokyo Motor Show in 2013, the Kawasaki J is an incredible future-facing concept that the company hopes will become a reality in the coming decades. With an ethos of newer designs being more friendly to the environment and being more efficient, but by no means sacrificing on the joy of riding a motorbike, Kawasaki describes the J as a personal mobility system of the future that adapts to the type of travel required. What this means is that the fully electric three-wheeled vehicle will automatically reconfigure itself based on the type of ride you need. It's like how vehicles will already adjust the suspension and handling depending on the mode you select, but to a much greater degree. In comfort mode, for example, the J creates a relaxed riding position with the rider in an upright stance, and the track of the two front wheels widens so it's more stable. Hit the switch to change to sports mode, though, and it becomes a different beast entirely. The track narrows and the rider's stance becomes more streamlined, which turns it into a fun sports machine that'll stand up with the best of them. Add to this the futuristic aesthetics and it's a real shame something like this can't be taken to the streets already. Number 13, LM847 Lazarus. If pure power is what you look for in a bike, then surely there's no better than the LM847 Lazarus. Designed by French custom creator Ludovic Lazareth to celebrate the lifting of a restriction in France that limited bikes to having engines of no more than 100 horsepower, this thing takes it to the extreme. It's fitted with a huge 4.7-liter 32-valve V8 engine from the Maserati Quattroporte, which produces 470 horsepower. And in order to actually put this to the ground, the LM847 has two huge rear tires, with each one having its own chain drive on a single-sided swing arm. Rather than suspending each tire individually, though, a TFX rear shock is instead used, a setup that in theory should allow the LM847 to tilt further than you dare try push it. Other design choices include the use of split carbon fiber aerodynamic shields, a handlebar emerging from the airbox, bar end, mirrors, and just to be difficult, reverse action levers. Somewhat comically, a Ducati Panigale tail section has been added, despite the LM847 being a monstrous bike. But somehow it works, and only adds to the feel that this thing is probably the most powerful, frightening, and beastly ride you could ever dream of sitting on. Number 12. Yamaha Tesseract. First shown as a concept vehicle by Yamaha at the 2007 Tokyo Motor Show, the Tesseract was hailed as the future of electric motorcycle design. Eagle-eyed viewers will have noticed, of course, that it actually has four wheels, but the company described it as a four-wheeled motorcycle because of the narrow profile at the front that has a similar width to a traditional bike, as well as a tilting wheel suspension called dual scythe suspension that enables it to bank like a motorcycle. Powered by both a V-twin engine and an electric motor, it certainly promised to be a powerful design, and there's no doubt that with the semi-open wheel coverings that expose the suspension and linkages, as well as the styling that makes it look like a praying mantis preparing to strike, this would have been a menacing vehicle to see on the road. Yamaha actually fully intended on turning this into a production vehicle, and had already moved on to a road-legal version of the Tesseract that was the original concept, but the financial crisis at the time put an end to those hopes. Realizing that very few people would be able to afford something like this, let alone take the risk on it instead of a motorcycle design they're more familiar with, Tesseract was forgotten in favor of more traditional ideas. 
number 11, Honda RCE. First shown at the Tokyo Motor Show in 2011, the Honda RCE was an exciting all-electric concept that took the technology from a Honda hybrid car and put it into a bike. At the time, it was one of the first mainstream manufacturers to put forward such a radical idea, and while the RCE never became a reality, it helped to change the direction of the industry. Powered by an ultra-thin 10-kilowatt-hour brushless motor, the company didn't reveal its expected specs, battery capacity, or whether there were plans for energy recovery systems. They did reveal that it had an Erlene suspension, Brembo brakes, and sport bike tires, and while at first the red and silver color scheme and overall design was reminiscent of the company's Grand Prix racers of the 1960s, there are hints that this wasn't designed purely for the track. The inclusion of mirrors, license plate hanger, and the projector beam headlights in the fairing vent imply that Honda was seriously looking at this as a potential production vehicle. Described as having a 600-class performance in a 250cc class body and designed to pursue the joy of riding, it's a real shame this electric sports bike was never made available. The company may one day return to the idea when the technology fully allows it. Number 10. BMW Autonomous R1200 GS there's a lot that's reported about the advances of self-driving technology in cars, but what's often overlooked is that motorcycle manufacturers are employing similar techniques with their new concepts, too. BMW's Motorrad Design Studio revealed in 2018 their new creation, the BMW Autonomous R1200GS, and the invited guests were stunned to see the bike driving around the track all by itself. A modified R1200 GS, it was able to drive off, accelerate, navigate a winding test track, and then slow itself down to a stop. The company pointed out that the intent wasn't to create a bike that would eventually operate independently of the rider, but would instead provide technology that would make riding a bike much safer, more comfortable, and more fun. Prototypes like these allow researchers to further understand driving dynamics and what's required to detect upcoming dangers to develop safety systems that involve the bike preemptively braking when approaching an intersection, for example. It was also used to demonstrate a frame that was largely 3D printed and new laser headlights. This concept isn't something that in its current form is ever intended for sale to customers, but it definitely hints at what types of technology the bikes of the future will incorporate. Number nine. Segway Apex H2. It's a company that made its name with the design of single-wheeled vehicles, but Segway, which in 2015 was acquired by a Chinese firm, has recently revealed a new concept bike called the Apex H2. As with the rest of the automotive industry, the motorcycles of the future will move away from using traditional fuels in favor of green alternatives, but Segway has acknowledged the fact that battery-powered designs aren't exactly setting the world alight. Instead, the Apex H2 is hydrogen-powered, which isn't the easiest of fuels to get a hold of in most countries, but the benefits of it are undeniable. Not only is the H2 cheap, with a projected cost of about ten dollars or $11,000, but it's able to accelerate to a speed of 62 miles per hour within 4 seconds, and will reach a top speed of 93 miles per hour. What's interesting, though, is that it will consume just one gram of hydrogen for every kilometer traveled. And since the only side product of this is water, it's an incredibly efficient way to travel. The concept certainly looks like a futuristic vehicle too, complete with exposed hydrogen canisters. And while the company hasn't yet announced a technology that will be included, it's guaranteed to be equipped to compete with similarly priced vehicles. The Apex H2 itself, however, won't be up for sale, but Segway is planning on releasing a retail version within the next year or so. Number eight. The Husqvarna Vitpilen 701 Aero. Displaying its shows for at least the past four years, the Vitpilen 701 Aero is one of the most exciting design concepts of recent memory, and most enthusiasts are wondering why the company is seemingly actually avoiding putting it into production, despite there being so much interest. Based on the same platform as the Vitpilen 701, there are a number of noticeable changes. The radiator, for example, has been wrapped in a shroud to keep it more hidden, and the belly pan has been enlarged much more than you'd normally expect to see, so much so that it extends up the side of the engine and forms the lower half of the fairing. The front fender is also larger, which seems more coherent with the rest of the bodywork. The rear wheel has a solid cover, and the tail section has an added duckbill-style kick at the end. To go along with the more race-like appearance, Husqvarna has changed the riding position to be far more aggressive, too. One of the best changes with this concept, though, is the instrument cluster that, instead of being an LCD gauge, is a full-color display that was specifically designed for this model. 
With a promised increased power output too, although the figure has yet to be announced, it's possible the company is just biding its time before finally making the Arrow available, and by the time they do, they surely won't be short on orders. Number 7. Motorrad Vision Next 100 the Vision Next 100 was created by BMW's Motorrad division as a concept of what motorcycles will be like in the coming decades. And if their idea of the future becomes a reality, then we're in for an interesting ride. Moving forward with the idea of the rider and the machine becoming one with each other, you'll notice there are a few things that appear to be missing from the footage of this bike, but this is all because of the technological riches hidden within. The stunning black triangular frame with white headlights, a classical opposed twin-engine design, and a seat position set up like you'd expect on a Roadster show that this is designed to be an incredible ride while still feeling futuristic with a minimalist style, and it has a large metallic reflector set within the frame. This, along with the windshield, will create optimal airflow over the vehicle, and with most of it made from carbon fiber, it'll be nimble and insanely fast. As for the new technology, the Vision Next 100 is self-balancing, meaning even new riders will be able to enjoy it to its fullest, and perhaps the most interesting innovation is that the rider doesn't need to wear a helmet. Instead, they have data glasses that will project any required information onto the inbuilt screens, and BMW says that it will provide data in a way that the rider will be able to avoid any potentially dangerous situations, so they won't need physical head protection at all. We're surely a long way off from this being legal on public roads, but it's the direction developers are trying to go in. But still, wear your helmets. Number 6. Victory Core Concept Sometimes it's the paired-back designs that make the greatest impact, and that's certainly the case with the Victory Core Concept. The name Core was chosen because it represents the simplest form, featuring just an engine, frame, wheels, and front suspension. It's the way that these have been put together, though, and the choice to avoid non-critical elements that make this such a special motorcycle. Fitted with a Victory Freedom 1066 Stage 2 engine that produces 97 horsepower, it's a bike that has purpose, but it's simple in both its form and its abilities. There are no gimmicks or futuristic elements, and it gives the impression that riding it would take you back to the glorious heyday of road travel. Even the lack of rear suspension or any sense of seat comfort would normally raise questions, but in this case only add to the appeal that's reminiscent of classic models like the BMW Lowrider, but with cleaner, longer flowing lines. It is, however, by Victory's own admission, simply an experiment in design and not something destined for a production line, although you shouldn't be surprised if elements of the core concept make it into fully-fledged production models in the future. Number 5. Ducati Erosa With Ducati exploring designs for an electric motorcycle of their own, the release of the Ducati Erosa concept, which was created by designer Romain Galvin in 2021, shows the directions the company may well take while staying true to their historic design cues. Intended to, in Galvin's words, blend cutting-edge technology with pure emotional motoring fascination. It's undoubtedly taken inspiration from the rounded bodies of Formula One cars and cafe racer bikes, and is a wonderfully broad body with Ducati strokes throughout. On the inside is a carbon fiber chassis, which is complemented by the wider body, and when that's fitted with steely headlights and the leather seat, the result is a foreboding machine. It's fully electric, so comes with a charging point directly beneath the cantilevered seat, and is actively stayed away from an overcomplicated dashboard, which would take away from its aesthetic. This is proof that electric bikes do not have to sacrifice the bold appeal of gas guzzlers, and that the future is truly exciting. Number 4. Yamaha PES2 Yamaha is also beginning to develop the next generation of electric motorcycles, and in 2015 the company revealed its new concept, the PES2. Almost looking at home as a racer in a sci-fi movie, the slick silver, gray, and white design features beautifully contrasting blue accents in the wheels. The street-focused sports model gets its power from a DC brushless motor, and because of an additional motor in the hub of the front wheel, it's two-wheel drive. Weighing less than 286 pounds, or about 130 kilos, the company says the PES2 will be the equivalent to a Class 2 or 125cc bike. Still, with the two-wheel drive element, Yamaha proposes that the PES2 will provide a new kind of sensation because of the way that the power is put to the ground and the handling, and you'll feel sturdy on the road with its design that incorporates the main motor and frame into a single unit, and intentionally looks like an exoskeleton with the floating bones and wing style. 
The intent is to incorporate cutting-edge technologies, which will include a helmet display system. It'll feature high-sensitivity image sensors and augmented reality to provide a heads-up display to the rider that'll show road and vehicle information in real time in a way that's never been possible before, and will probably lead to a more enjoyable and safer ride experience. Number 3. Honda Super Sports Concept it seemed for a time that Honda was beginning to fall behind the competition by releasing safe designs, but the company put itself back into the picture in 2015 with the reveal of the lightweight super sports concept. It was described as being created with the phrase strong presence in mind, and it certainly seemed to hit that note. It exudes that sense of speed with a long nose and unusually low crouched position, and uses a combination of different materials to give a wildly different look to each of the surfaces. Together though, they look hard and solid, and the use of sharp edges to finish off the undoubtedly aggressive style. The concept, shown in matte black-based low-contrast graphics, means that the full attention is on its structural beauty, and the eye isn't distracted by the color palette. Even with this toned black scheme, the Super Sports concept looks incredible, which is a testament to its overall design. Appearing to use a parallel twin engine and with a streamlined body that would surely imply performance to match, it was sadly only exhibited as a concept, but at the time seen as an indication of the direction Honda was planning to go. With the introduction of new high-revving small displacement bikes that target the hardcore riders and track day enthusiasts. Number two. BMW Vision DC Roadster Announced in 2019, the BMW Vision DC Roadster was the company's latest conceptual design of the future of electric-powered bikes. BMW went back to the drawing board, but realized the two-cylinder boxer engine was so integral to its identity for the past 90 years, it wanted to retain this core design while moving with the times. That's why the Vision DC Roadster looks, from the outside, like a traditional engine-powered bike, but that's because they've actively built it to appear as if it's housing a boxer engine, but instead has an electric motor and a vertically fitted battery pack. The cooling elements are placed in the airstream, and the motor is placed beneath the battery so it connects directly to the universal shaft. By using this innovative design, it's recognizably a BMW motorcycle, and only on closer inspection will you have any idea that it's battery-powered. Lightweight carbon fiber and aluminum materials along with the powerful motor means that its performance specs are far more impressive than a similarly sized engine version, and elements like grooves in the frame have been included to make the bike visually seem smaller than it actually is. Further openings in the aluminum frame and the structure around it further add to this effect, and red accents along with brushed aluminum highlight the bike's innovative geometry. Seen as the first step to the future generation of road travel, production designs like the Vision DC Roadster surely can't come soon enough. Number 1. Dodge Tomahawk Motorcycle It's a company more associated with muscle cars, but in 2003, Dodge turned heads with the reveal of an outrageous non-street legal motorcycle design called the Tomahawk. Using a retro Art Deco aesthetic, which almost looks like what you'd expect survivors of a futuristic apocalypse to ride in on, the Tomahawk isn't just impressive to look at, but it's concealing hugely powerful machinery beneath the body. It was built around the 500 horsepower 8.3 liter V10 engine that's used in the Dodge Viper, and when fitted in an 8.5 foot long motorcycle, the performance is almost frightening. In theory, the bike should have a top speed of 420 miles per hour, and while these estimates by the company have been accused of ignoring the effects of drag, rolling resistance, and stability, it's generally accepted it'll easily reach at least 250 miles per hour. You would, of course, have to be crazy to attempt to take it to speeds like that, and Dodge admitted when the Tomahawk was first revealed that in internal testing, the fastest it had been ridden was 100 miles per hour. Despite being a concept at first, the overwhelming interest in the bike meant that nine were made and sold for about $550,000 each, but were intended as what they called automotive sculpture and were never meant to be actually used. Beginning simply as a fun project for designers to work on, the Tomahawk Concepts became one of the most legendary motorcycle designs ever and showed to the world that Dodge's parent company, Chrysler, was unquestionably a bold, forward-thinking company that wasn't afraid of taking risks in the name of creating unforgettable vehicles. Watch our Vehicles playlist for more Top 15 videos about amazing vehicles. Sit back, relax, and binge-watch all of our best vehicle videos.